Welcome back to Balanced Health. Today's Nutrition in the News deals with fasting and coronary artery disease. A recent report published by the American Heart Association finds that fasting on a regular basis may protect against heart disease. In a study of more than 4,500 men and women, people who fasted were 39% less likely to be diagnosed with coronary artery disease than those who didn't fast. Now, coronary artery disease was defined as having at least 70% narrowing or blockage in at least one coronary artery. While approximately 90% of the people studied were Mormons, the findings held true even in those, of course, who had a different religious preference. The researchers didn't put any time frame on fasting, but noted that Mormons typically fast on the first Sunday of every month for 24 hours. So it's interesting that, that Mormons were probably maybe tested because they fast uh, regularly, but only only once a month. That's not too much. No, it isn't. And yet true. there was a difference. And there's no question in my mind that fasting, when your body has no food to digest, mm -hmm. enzymes are going to go to work. Huh. And what happens is your bloodstream, all the janitors, the enzymes, if you want to use this metaphor, are sent to go to work because they, once the stomach is empty and the small intestine is empty, they have no food to digest, so they go and they do mm. other things. Wow. <clears throat> so there's no question in my mind that a healing process takes place when you fast. Well, if, if your stomach and your small <clears throat> intestine all that has to be emptied, then do you have to fast for an extended period of time? Well, I, first of all, when you talk about fasting, nine out of 10 people, including myself, are just not equipped to do a seven or 10 or 15 day ah, fast. I, oh, I, no, that's horrible. I can't, I can't even imagine, happen. no. Uh, but a 24 hour fast, especially if you go dinner to dinner, <clears throat> <Okay>. <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> if you go dinner to dinner, it's so much easier to do because you go to bed somewhat full. Yeah. Then you get up in the morning, and I'm going to have to plug Kylie's Total Living Drink here because we have people across the nation, Shirley, that use the Total Living Drink as, as something to drink while they fast. Fast does not have to be from food and liquid. Okay, so, so the, the Total Living Drink, even though it, it is a food product, it's still like a juice. So it would totally fit into the fasting. In other words, you, you could still uh, rest your body by having the Total Absolutely. Living Absolutely. Now, a hardcore water faster, you know, someone that fasts yeah. only with water might, 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 but look, God honors the heart. And that's right. something, you know, we're talking about scriptures and healing today. God knows where you're coming from, from the sacrifice. You're honoring him in your body by trying to give it the opportunity to heal. We saw Jesus talk about fasting. How many times oh, did Jesus goodness. talk about fasting? The Bible's fasting? full of it, even in the Old Testament. And 40 days. I mean, you have to be God to Ooh. fast 40 days. Yes. Um, so something like the total living drink for breakfast and lunch, when mm -hmm. you're doing that 24-hour okay. fast, I'll tell you what, Julie, it's not that difficult. No, it wasn't. Um, I tend to go in streaks. I'll tend to be real fastidious about it for a while, and then I'll tend to back off of it for a while. But there is just something that happens in your body, even mm -hmm. spiritually. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Well, it's just, you know. Well, that's the beauty of fasting. It's physical and it's <clears> spiritual. It's a discipline, which th that in itself is, is spiritual. When you discipline your body, you beat your body into subjection, as it were, because that's what we all love to do most is eat. And it's really hard when you're used to having three squares a day, you know, to deny yourself. So it's a spiritual discipline uh, to, to put your body under subjection. But the ideal thing, and we talked about prayer in the earlier segment, the ideal thing is to pray with fasting or, or pray along with your fasting. And then you get a double whammy. You get double benefits from you it. You really do. And I have experienced this myself. I can't tell you how many people have experienced this with me that, when you're fasting, you just get in a heightened state mm -hmm. you uh, do. of spirituality, whether it's because your brain's clearer, because I it's not know. bogged down with, it's probably a combination of many yeah. different things. But, um, and the thing about taking the total living drink while you're fasting is some people have blood sugar issues, you know, uh, hypoglycemic, maybe mm -hmm. they have a spike or a drop in blood pressure when they fast and, and having all those nutrients in your body. And we've had many people tell us that they'll go to do a 24 hour fast and they'll feel so good when they're taking mm. a total of drinking a fast, they'll want that, turning it into two or three days. Wow. Um, I, we, I have to be <clears> honest, <throat> I never thought about it. it and I haven't fasted in, in a little while, but I used to do it regularly, but I never thought about using the, the total living drink as a supplement. That's wonderful. Now, could we talk about juice fasts? Oh, the, the, actually, the total living drink would be similar to that, and the okay. fact that it's a liquid. Juice fasts, one of the things, some people just use basic fruit juices. Yeah. There's enough sugar in there that if you tend to be hypoglycemic when you haven't eaten in a while, that'll stop that blood sugar drop. Okay. However, by introducing a fruit juice, especially a commercial grade one that has a lot of sugar in it, mm -hmm. um, you're really going to actually spike yeah. your blood sugar because there's really not much else going on in your system. Right. 
The, the ideal thing to do, it's also the most difficult thing to do, but the ideal fast would be to drink green juices, mm -hmm. uh, especially like string bean juice mm. um, or, or broccoli juice. But string bean juice has probably the most medicinal effect. Mm. Uh, my father used to do, you know, 48-hour fast and drink nothing but uh, green bean juice. Wow. And um, you see a lot of things going on in your body, not the least of which is you'll find that your, your breath is really bad. Mm -hmm. And what's happening is you're just detoxifying a tremendous right. amount of things outside of your body. But you have to be prepared to do that. And I would really discourage people from doing like four or five day water only fast unless you're doing so under the care of a qualified physician right. because you get yourself in trouble. Well, that, that's, a, that's a very good point. And I don't think most of our viewers out there are not going to do that. I mean, I used to fast till all day till dinner, mm -hmm. you know, and then have dinner, you know, but you tend to like take out then. So, that, so I'm not sure that really is that beneficial. So I would say maybe a minimum of 24 hours. Yeah, and but, again, a total living drink will really, I hate to keep bringing it up, yeah. but it will, it will really stop that. You well, won't, you won't go that. into dinner with, you know, that voracious, you mm -hmm. know. I'm going to really try that. Well, what are the other benefits? I mean, we pray. It's a spiritual discipline. We detoxify our body. What are some of the other uh, benefits of it? Well, one of the benefits is that by not putting any food into your stomach and small intestine, you don't stretch it. Mm -hmm. And so you actually, you know, especially if you just say 24 or 48, it actually starts contracting a little bit. So you're very likely to feel fuller, quicker yeah. uh, the next time you do eat. So um, it shrinks your stomach, <clears throat> basically. It does, and you will, you will probably find that you'll eliminate. So if you're drinking uh, water and juices mm -hmm. and you're fasting, you might find that you're urinating more, but your kidneys are really detoxifying. Hmm. By not having that food going into your bloodstream, we've talked about leaky gut syndrome and how mm -hmm. food actually permeates the gut. And you even sent me an article on it recently. Yeah, I did. Uh, where the food actually penetrates the bloodstream, so your white blood cells are devouring French fries or whatever instead of working on uh, finding you know foreign matter. And, it, it was actually a, an article. I'm like, so somebody else is talking about leaky gut besides syndrome. Me. Besides me, maybe Joe. Joe's not quite so crazy. <laughs> right, exactly. So, but what happens is, you don't have this stuff in your blood because you're fasting. So your blood is cleaner, and then your liver keeps doing its job of cleansing the blood, but now when you're sending, it's like sending clean oil through hmm. a, a new filter, right? The oil stays cleaner. So it's really, your liver gets to rest, your spleen gets to uh -huh. rest. So by giving all these organs a rest, you really rejuvenate yourself. Surely many cultures, frankly, America and, and Europe, are probably really only a couple that don't have a regular implementation of fasting. Really? Yeah, the study talked about the Mormons, and I find that interesting, but um, and they probably picked them up for the reason that you spoke, but it's interesting to see that uh, religions that are fastidious in their in the legalistic part, if they're, I don't mean it in a negative well, Islam, sense, but Islam, for instance. Islam, yes. Hasidic Jews. Mm -hmm. You don't see a lot of overweight Hasidic Jews. They're very strict with certain things, mm -hmm. and so... Um, you know, you'll see this. It's a great way for weight control. Well, well, speaking of weight control, I mean, I suggest if you're going to start a weight loss program or you're going to really start trying to reduce the amounts that you eat, start off with a fast. Start and off with a 24-hour fast. And it's best to go dinner to dinner. And I say that. It probably isn't ultimately best for idea. your body. But if you go dinner to dinner, you're going to, be, you're going to succeed in completing the fast. And you, you need to do that. Um, so you mean you can have dinner and right? then you can have dinner the next Correct. night? Correct. You know, that that's really makes a lot of sense and I hadn't thought of doing that. It that's does, because if you go breakfast to breakfast, that, that's, that's a much tougher gig. Uh, well, uh, how does one prepare, uh, how do, say somebody goes on a three-day fast or they go on a, an extended fast, how do they come off the fast? If, if they're going to go on a three-day fast, the first thing I would recommend is before they go on that fast, they need to eat fresh foods a day or two before that fast. Oh, really? Yes, because remember, your body wants to dump bad food out as quick as it mm. can. You don't want this, you know, big, you know, explosion big in, in yeah. your body, this big, okay. you know, 180-degree turn of what's been happening in it. Um, so try and eat fresh foods and live foods a, a couple days before the fast. Okay. Slow oxidizing foods. Okay. Good uh, foods. So good basically. foods. Good idea. And that, that's, that's a great way to prepare for it. And Shirley, the last thing, I know we need to run here and go to the next segment, but prayer, before yeah. you start to fast, that's good. I believe that God is honored by your sacrifice and he will give you the physical momentum that you need to get you through that fast. I truly believe that. I believe it too. And then when you go off the fast, start off, uh, start taking food gradually too. Don't Absolutely. just pig out. Right? Absolutely. Good, good advice. Well, it's time for another break. If you'd like to order a DVD of this show, just call the number on your screen. And coming up, not all juices are created equal. We'll learn what to look for and what to avoid when shopping for juice. Stay with us. 